So starting off with my hair wet, I applied some pre-styler and combed it in using my non-pulling comb. For this specific look, you definitely want to make sure that you have a high skin taper. This is because I'm going to be using a hat to create this hairstyle and the last thing you want is indents from having hat hair. What's great about this style is that if you're in a hurry, you can throw on a hat, wait about 30 minutes to an hour for it to dry depending on how long your hair is, and your hair will be all set in place and ready to go. All you need is a hair product to hold it all in place. I personally use a Shavu because this stuff has a great hold and because Shavu products have been the only thing keeping my hair healthy and undamaged while I've been growing it out. And all I did to finish the style was finger comb the product in and I was good to go. Also, be sure to stay tuned because I'm going to be showing you guys another hairstyle of mine within the next couple of minutes. Number two, we got uh, pretty much the opposite of what I was rocking in number one. Right here we have more of a volumized quiff, still going up and back for that nice slicked back look. And the sides have some more length to give it that more natural feel. Number three, right here um, we have JT. Right here he's kinda, you know, rocking that messy look. You can tell he really went for that, you know, classy vibe with a side part while keeping the top a little loose. Kind of like his dance moves. <laughs> Number four is pretty clean. Um, it looks like the sides are nice and cleaned up. It definitely gets longer towards the top. Um, and it looks like it was maybe combed back then slightly finger combed immediately after. Now this one goes back and slightly to the back corner. Um, the sides are a little bit more full than the last cut we saw. Definitely has that modern vibe with class. David Beckham we see here is rocking an all slicked back look. Um, the sides are even grown out and it gives off a really masculine feel because of this. Um, it actually looks like he is using some sort of gel because of the chunky separation as we can see, but um, for sure this is one of my top three favorite looks of this video. This one's crazy. Right here is a really, really long undercut, all styled back. The sides um, are all skin tapered and this dude actually tops off the look with a bleached streak, a bleached blonde streak. By the way, a few shout outs from my peoples on my community page. I got so many comments um, and a few of them stuck out to me. So right here we got Aditya, Austin, Mahalo, MVKV, and my boy meh underscore 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 K. By the way, I will be doing these shout outs as much as I can in future videos just to show my appreciation to you guys. Number eight, now this one is really, really cool. Something I've personally always wanted to do. Uh, this dude looks like he's going for that natural mountain man vibe. Um, it's messy, it's all styled back, and the texture is simply amazing. Um, if you guys would like to see me rock something like this, let me know because um, you know, I'm actually really thinking about it. Number nine, we have this super clean, modern, disconnected look while the top is nice and messy and just going straight back. Really, really feeling this look. Number 10, my boy Jared Leto. Now Jared has always been known to rock just crazy different hairstyles all the time. Um, right here we see Jared taking his longer hair and actually just slicking it back. Um, this is a great look for those of you who are maybe in, you know, going through that awkward stage and don't really know what to do with your hair while it's grown out. Um, but this is a great example of what to do. Now number 11, we have another cut by yours truly. Again, starting off with my hair wet and then applying my pre-styler, I combed it in using my non-pulling comb. I then decided to blow dry my hair all back and slightly to the left back corner of my head. If you want a little volume, be sure to blow dry your hair upside down, this helps out as well. Then all you're going to need to do is ask your buddy to pass you some Ocean Clay by Shavu, and this will enable you to be really stoked because you're about to have the dopest hairstyle of your life and in addition you will be feeding your hair natural organic ingredients that work together to keep it as healthy as possible. That's what's up. <laughs> so to finish off this look, I suggest using a wide tooth comb and try giving yourself some nice texture for that chunky separation look as you guys can see here. As for this hairstyle, I then topped it off with some Hans DeFuco hairspray. By the way, I got a promo code for you guys in the description for you guys to use at HansDeFuco.com, so be sure to check that out. And that's about it. By the way, you guys, we have a new contest starting right now. Anybody who buys from the Shavu online shop will be automatically entered into a contest where you can win a year supply of ocean clay right here, dude. Ocean Clay. Now, if you make multiple orders this month, you will be entered into the raffle multiple times. The contest ends on the 28th. We will be announcing the winners on March 1st on our Instagram, at Shavu, so be sure to follow us on there. Stay updated to see if you won. And just because we're nice guys, 
we'll throw in a free activating oil cleanser as well. Number 12. Now this one is very, very similar to Jared's um, hairstyle that I just previously showed you. However, it's a lot more messier. It looks like he's using a product that gives off some nice shine for that semi-wet look. Right here we have a classic. Now this style, in my opinion, looks great on everyone. I can also tell um, with this specific hairstyle that the button, I can tell by the texture that it's topped off with a lot of hairspray just to hold everything in place. Number 14, now I know a lot of you are voluminous fanatics. Um, so right here I have a high volume pump styled back um, with a nice taper all the way around. 15 is another great cut with some good volume. I really dig the waves on this cut, me personally, and the high skin taper just finishes off the look so nicely. Now 16 is cool because it's actually styled all the way to the right, like it all goes that way, and then swerves around to the back and like just curves all the way around to the back and the ball taper just adds a beautiful finishing touch. I mean, such a sick style. 17 is awesome. The top looks like it's about four inches long maybe. The sides have some length too, maybe two and a half inches. But what I like about this cut specifically is that it's still kept really nice and clean, especially on the sideburns and on the neckline. Next up, we got a nice hard part. I've personally always been a fan of those. The sides are, it looks like it has a high skin taper. And on the top, we have this thick textured finger combed look. Number 19 is a very, very nice and clean look. The sides are tapered and faded up into the top. And for sure, um, this was styled using a fine tooth comb. 20 is cool, man. Uh, it's edgy, as you guys can see. We have a nice hard part in there, a high taper, and the top has some very, very nice volume as well. 21 is for all of my thick hair dudes, um, my Indian dudes especially, shout out to India. Um, man, you guys have the best hair in my opinion. Uh, this actually, this slicked back cut is just voluminous on its own naturally. The sides are disconnected while the back fades nicely in to get the best of both worlds, classy and modern. 22, Jimmy Q, uh, who's always been a big hairstyle inspiration I think for all of us. Um, again, another slicked back look using some sort of pomade and a fine tooth comb. For this look, you definitely want to stay away from any volume. Just keep it slicked. Now 23 is a classy, messy hairstyle that just goes simply up and back. Um, from my own experience, having a cut just like this, um, probably five or six years ago, you know, I would say don't worry if things go out of place. This hairstyle isn't made to be perfectly perfect all day long. So just let it do its thing. And number 24 is a little bit more out there, but I personally still really dig it. We have this disconnected hard part on the side design, um, skin tapered all the way around while the top has some nice wavy action. Such a sick look for sure. All right, so those are the hairstyles for today. Now, for those of you that are new, we end off every single video with an inspirational word of the day just to, just to you know, just to jumpstart the rest of the day or, you know, for watching this morning, to jumpstart your day for watching this at night, to jumpstart your dreams. Ooh, that was good. Now today I got a good word for you guys. I actually posted this on my Instagram. Um, I said, don't follow the world. Stay true to yourself and the world will follow you. Now each one of us has all been given something so special and so unique. And you know, each one of us has a special gift or ability or maybe many gifts and abilities. And so you gotta search deep and find out what those things are. And, you know, a lot of people ask, how, how do I know what those things are, you know? What are my special gifts? What are my special abilities? You know, how do I find them? And my, my answer is to just, do. Just go out there, start doing. Try new things, try new hobbies, just put yourself out there to try new things. But most importantly, do not be afraid to fail. Honestly, it's okay to fail. Fail often. I mean, every time you fail, it just, it's, an, it's a new learning experience. Every time you fail, it directs you towards your destiny and your path that you're supposed to be on. And honestly, that's why I feel like I have so many passions and I do so many different things is because um, I try my best to just try new things. You know, I try to do different every single day. And um, I, I tell myself, you know, it's okay to fail. You know, that's why I do fail often. I, I do fail a lot, but it always helps me find new purpose. And it always helps me find new passions, you know, deep within myself. So that's it. I hope you all got a little something from that. If you dug this video, please give it a nice big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Hit that notifications button to be informed when I drop my next video. I'd appreciate it so much, you guys. Mad love to you all. And I'll see you guys very soon. My name is Joe Jackson. Shaka, bruh. <laughs>